Morning guys, we're just sitting outside having a having a lazy morning here in Perth. I'm sleepy because for some reason at like 2 in the morning my dad decided to check if we were home. It affected me real bad. <laughs> It's a nice day. Yeah, except for the wind, always, always Perth, always. See it? <laughs> Nothing but all the finer bits. It's gonna be 40 degrees today, so we thought we would come for like a morning stroll instead of coming out later today, because I think it's gonna get really hot. We've come to a place called Mindari Marina, and there's like really cool, really rich houses around, and it's right on the marina. It's really, really cool here. We don't come here often enough, I think. Yeah. Because I think so we have cool. Hillary's so close and there's technically more to do in Hillary's but this is actually really cool. You should see some of the houses here, they're insane. Being able to live in one of these houses one day is totally my goal. <laughs> it is so nice and they've got all their just boats here. Some even have boats just at the front of their houses. One of my very first jobs was working here selling ice cream and I used to steal so much ice cream. But look at the view we had, except this used to not be here. <laughs> I probably would have rung some alarm bells when I found out Jess's first job was at an ice cream place. That's probably where the obsession began. Very true. Mm. And it grew from there. Oh yeah. Mm. It's like an addict. <laughs> that was me with ice cream and when the boss wasn't looking I'd quickly get a spoon and be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were here, which was years ago, there were dolphins just here and it would be so cool if they come back. see all the indents in this car. Quite a few years ago, Perth had this really big storm and we had tons and tons of hail. And it's like, it doesn't really happen. I can't remember it happening ever again, right Steve? Yeah. And we always call it, it's like the great hail storm of Perth. And every now and then you'll find cars that have been damaged during the hail storm. And that was definitely one, if you could see all the dents all over it. Alrighty, I seem to have lost my footage, but I've just gone onto Google and found. Pretty much the hailstorm. We we all went through the great hailstorm. Smashed window just there. Wow. That's pretty much what our backyard looked like. Just come outside. One bad thing in Australia is that whenever it gets so hot, we have a lot of bushfires. It's usually usually under control, but sometimes they can get quite catastrophic. But I can smell one, and I'm not too sure where it is. Luckily, it's not anywhere near us, but I can already see. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, there. That's a helicopter there, probably going to look for the bushfire. Just hope no one, like nothing's wrong, everyone's sorted, but I'll just have to check the news later on today. So I'm just checking the news and reportedly that up in Joondalup, which is a suburb up in northern um, Perth, houses are on fire. I'll play the little bit. Look at that. Helicopters coming in, that's crazy. It's so bad when there's like houses on fire, when there's bushfires. Hopefully it's because of the heat and no one's starting this fire, because that would be really sad. But looks like the fire department's sorting it out. Well, that's not good at all. Oh wow, that's Jake's university that's been evacuated. I don't know if you can see, but there's helicopters in the sky. The cop isn't letting us down this road. It's not that smoky though, but I can smell it. And there's an aeroplane about to go drop. Oh off. yeah. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see, but just here, that's where the bushfire is. There's a bit of smoke, but it's not crazy smoky. But you can really smell it, and there's, yeah, helicopters and planes everywhere dropping water, and people aren't allowed down roads, and people have been evacuated and stuff. Like, all these people outside their houses, like, ready to evacuate. Oh, like, just all, in case. They all look worried. I hope it's all fine. I don't know. We came to check it out, but everything's blocked off. Oh, I see the aeroplane. Well, the sun's so bright because it's so smoky. No wonder there's bushfires. Just checked, checked the temperature. It's 6 p.m. at night and it's 105 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 41 degrees if you live in Australia. So that is hot. Imagine how hot it was in the middle of the day. That's nuts. Can you just tell them how you check the weather? It wasn't I... the Bureau of Meteorology. It no. wasn't the <laughs> app on the phone. I decided to take a photo of myself on Snapchat and then find out the temperature that way. Yeah, you did. You got your I bet you other people have done that before, right? Yeah. Time for a healthy dinner. I'm gonna make veggie stir fry. I think it's time to stay away from carbs for a few days after all that pasta. Where's the rice? No, just veggies. 
One thing when you've been in a relationship as long as me and Jess have, when Jess is on a diet, it means I'm on a diet. And I think she was saying that this is my life for the next week. She was saying that we've had enough carbs, we've had too much pasta and pizza, so no parties this week, and I'm not happy with that. No pasta pizza parties, this is not good. <sighs> Jesse, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Jesse. What? You can't see the carbs if the yogurt is hiding the granola. I don't think you guys can see it, but you certainly can hear it. A storm has come, which is great. It should be raining on that fire, which is awesome. I'll open my window because I love the smell of rain. It's just, uh, I love it. It's so good, but I'm glad there's a bit of a storm. Hopefully it means tomorrow is cooler. Cool the place down because it was so hot today. Alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching today. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you tomorrow. Night guys.